Now, as I was explaining or getting ready to go into, a lot of people blame Obama, okay? What you have to realize in all of this, even though it's sort of off subject of this particular post here or the information involved, however, it is connected. It's not, I guess you could say, superlatively, extremely connected. However, it's connected. When Obama was elected, it was a symbol of the return of a certain type of energy to certain specific types of people. People who dealt with the ancient law. And we can deal, we can call them out right now. We're talking about the Moors. We're dealing with the Dravidians or anyone, any indigenous aboriginal peoples before the terms black, white, yellow, and brown were used to classify people as descriptions and objects and not living beings. We all talk about, a lot of people talk about this thing dealing with the return of the goddess. This is the time that the goddess is prophesied to return and blah, 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 this and blah, 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 that. Here's the truth behind all of that. The goddess never left. So there is no return. What happened is, is the fact, the reason why there's a so-called return, we all people over the world, the masses especially, embrace more of a patriarchal mindset, which is represented of masculinity, patriarchal, patrilineal. The ancient ways were that of the more matrilineal, or what we call matriarchy or matriarchy. And some of the, some of the ancient matriarchal societies were led exclusively by women, or some of them were led with both men and women together as one unit. So really the return of the goddess is us reuniting with that feminine part of ourselves, which represents the unseen, which deals with the, the, the abilities of clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, embracing psychic powers or embracing mutant powers all of the movies that we've seen thus far deal with something like that and we've had a few that have been released in the past couple of years that deal with titans or symbology dealing with titans and you all can check some stuff that brother panic as well as bobby hemmett has put out dealing with the return of the titans and right now Dealing specifically with um, Percy Jackson and um, the Lightning Thief. Percy Jackson, in that movie, symbolically it goes like this. Percy Jackson was the so-called son of a, t uh, of a god. Gods of Olympus. And the Lightning Thief, or the Lightning Energy, actually deals with life force as well as Kundalini. It is the so-called ruling power. It is, it, the Kundalini is the power that can liberate someone. Okay? And instead of Percy Jackson and the humans using it for themselves to get off from the dominion of the gods, he returns it back to the gods. Those gods symbolically are your elite constructs. Who, I guess you could say, pull the strings behind all these corporations and other establishments and they rule us or rule your ass okay um hey let's give them you know they they introduce diseases to the public they introduce crises especially financially and this is how they manipulate and control the people so we we have to be the opposite of percy jackson we have to keep that freaking spiritual energy for ourselves and raise ourselves up and get the hell up out of here. Okay? So, um, also with Obama, and I can tell you where this ties in with the so-called return of the goddess. This is one of the only presidents, as far as I know, where you can see him embraced with his wife 
hugging and kissing and all this stuff and it is considered a beautiful thing when the presidents before that didn't do it I remember seeing during um, when he, the night he got elected or was chosen which he was already chosen before he got in there um, a lot of people all over the world when they went to the places that they show where people supported Obama they were all embraced and hugging and, I, and you've never seen that before when any other president has won all right so that's all are a symbol of our so-called patriarchal masculine left brain thinking connecting and being balanced with the right brain feminine okay so having all of that I, I wish to throw that in because a lot of people are like well why the hell did Obama and some people say why the hell was this nigga chosen and all of this stuff and that's the word they use okay it wasn't meant to help us especially to all of you people who out there who are african-american black whatever Obama wasn't chosen to save you Obama is a politician I don't trust politicians or I don't have faith in politicians politicians are about themselves keeping the power and wealth to themselves and they use representatives called CEOs and presidents to maintain that to keep other individuals or keep the elite happy so don't look at the physical or material symbolism the spiritual symbolism is the so-called rebirth of Haru this is what Obama represented if you have a tape or video and you look into the background or you look into the background when they show when they would show Obama from the back speaking to the people once he won you will see in the backdrop on the, where there are two lines that are significantly showing a formation of a pyramid with a star on top then the fact that he was wearing red and black and the whole family was wearing red and black that is a old African that's African symbolism of initiation and it's also used in Rosicrucian initiation and all these other groups the red red represents blood which is likened to the spirit because the the physical accompaniment of the spirit or life force is the blood black represents the all the so-called womb that we all come from and that life force has to be channeled to through the blood in order for the spiritual physical emotional soul to be enlightened to raise itself to another existence another density okay so it was all a symbol the language that they speak in all every whether it's dealing with the elite whatever it's all symbolic we get wrapped up materially because we forgot or we don't remember or haven't remember that these symbols activate memories stimulation of consciousness and processes not only in nature in our body also in our bodies because we are the microcosm which is the reflection of nature okay now I just wish to throw that out because I feel that a lot of people are focusing on the wrong stuff or literally focusing on the wrong shit shit being or referring to matter material we're focusing on the wrong things we are attempting some things are obvious but it's like this if you're trapped in religion and you don't look at nothing outside of religion you'll never know this stuff and you're gonna suffer because of that okay so I just wish to put out the information that I did with Super Bowl symbolism and I'm saying right now don't be surprised if Green, Green Bay wins and pay attention to everything I say it said and look at the initiative of the things they are enacting this is not a time to be fearful this is just a time once again where 
the so-called gods are attempting to manipulate us. Raise up out of that. And until the next time, peace, hotel.